An entertaining first half was marred by controversy when Sydney United's Kalats crudely brought down the Knights' Kutlasovsky. Normally a penalty and a red card would have followed, but an offside ruling meant the Knights got nothing and Kalats escaped with a yellow. Kutlasovsky had his revenge seven minutes after the break, heading home after some uncharacteristically sloppy defending from United. The home team reacted to the setback and brought on another forward, new boy Damir Svetko. With his arrival, United stepped up the tempo and within two minutes, an acrobatic Kuprashak had levelled the scores. Sydney United went into overdrive and in the 64th minute, a freakish goal by Zadrilic gave the home side the lead. United were playing precision football and the Knights, while far from disgraced, couldn't get back into the game. In the final minute, Svetko showed his class with a sizzling drive for United's third goal. The final score, Sydney United 3, Melbourne Knights 1. In goal difference, having scored an impressive 14 goals in five games. Next come the Brisbane Strikers with a healthy 12 goals in five outings and it's good to see the top teams are those who play attacking football. Elsewhere in the top six, Olympic, West Adelaide and Collingwood remain and Marconi moves back into the top bracket. Down the list, Adelaide City is yet to score in six hours of play and surely will be forced into the transfer market before long. The Cosmos are propping up the table and on the weekend included general manager Alan Rees among its substitutes. Talk about multi-skilling. To the trends, and a worrying development is the big slide in the goals average, now under three per game for the first time this season. Despite an 11,000-plus crowd at Adenso Park, the aggregate for the weekend was below 35,000, and as a result, the season average falls below the 5,500 mark. The tally of yellow cards continues to mount, but the most disturbing trend concerns red cards. Another four dismissals on the weekend sees the red cards soaring, at 120% above last season's rate and clearly the players need some rem uh, remedial work on their fair play campaign. John, a good weekend though, despite the red cards uh, for football generally and a couple of uh, top achievers. Les, I gave it to the two coaches and of course their teams from yesterday, uh, David Radcliffe and Branko Cellina, because it, it was a derby game, big match, top of the table. Uh, particularly for Olympic, there was a temptation to go into this game and perhaps be a little bit cautious, but it was a terrific entertainment. We go back to our opening comments. This is what we have to provide, the minimum type of thing we have to provide for uh, professional football. And congratulations to both of them. Either could have been forgiven yesterday. Sydney United, their third game in a week. And just on that week, they beat all the teams in the week who finished above them last year. Uh, uh, Brisbane, uh, Sydney, uh, Sydney Olympic, Marconi and the Knights, they beat in, in eight days. So a tremendous achievement. Important <coughs> that the, uh, uh, if the attitude from the coach is right, if, if, uh, if both coaches are daring, then you're bound to have a good Yeah, game. I think full credit to them and, uh, and uh, the crowd, everyone enjoyed it. Olympic will be a little bit disappointed, but I think Olympic have a lot more improvement to come once their, their team.